Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is John Dolan, also known as DJ Dolo. Uh, I've been DJing for about 15 years now. Uh, I've got my first set of turntables uh, back in 2000 when I was in high school, and uh, carried that into college and now into uh, living in Boston as a full-time club DJ. Um, you can find me in several clubs during the week. I also do a lot of traveling all over the country, um, all, all the hot spots. Um, I've been in C-Zone now for about um, four or five years. Um, initially, I was a, kind of a little bit hesitant to join C-Zone, not because of um, the company, but just in terms of being a wedding DJ. I feel like the wedding DJ gets a really bad reputation. You know, we're corny old guys, you know, just kind of like not really mixing music, just kind of, you know, going, playing one song, fading low, some dead air, and then playing another song. But, however, when I met with Greg and Diane, that was completely opposite. They kind of had the same philosophy as I did, like, hey, let's rock this party, let's read the crowd, let's mix music, and let's just have everybody have a good time, whether it's, you know, the uh, flower girl all the way up to grandma. We're gonna rock your party and make sure that your dance floor is full at all times. Um, so, you know, of course, uh, you've seen our reviews online. We have a lot of reviews. We have a lot of different clients, types of clients in our backgrounds, a lot of events. However, we're not kind of a churn and burn um, company. We are very much still very boutique and attention to detail, and we really personalize every experience to, the, to our clients. So, you know, some of our clients may be, you know, kind of a little more rustic barn wedding. They want to hear, you know, some wagon wheel songs, some country music to, you know, we have clients that are, that are, have a Latin background like myself growing up in Dominican Republic. They want to hear a little more Latin music, some Spanish music influence, you know, we also do uh, weddings where there's maybe like the bride or the groom is Jewish, so you know, we'll do the horror as well. Um, you know, we have people who are African American, they want to hear some more R&B, Luther Vandross, stuff like that. And the whole point is we work every single event differently, start from scratch, and we kind of build and tailor the playlist to your liking. While uh, leading up to an event, um, there's uh, several different uh, types of communication. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty much glued to my cell phone. So a lot of times it's a lot of texts or emails in the beginning and then uh, leading up to the event, we'll, we'll meet face to face in, in person and really start to kind of roll our sleeves up and, and work on uh, the, the playlists, you know, the formal songs, you know, the parent dances, your first dance, what song you guys are coming out to at, as a bride and groom, what song is, is your wedding party coming out to and all that stuff. But that really happens over a long period of time. But the way that I really get, get going is about I would say about two weeks before the event, I really start to handpick songs that I feel will be definitely impactful on the dance floor and make sure that your dance floor is full. Um, a lot of times there's certain songs that are old um, that kind of don't really thump as well as like newer songs um, with drums. So a lot of times I'll actually go into the studio and add some more drums to a certain old song, like add some more thumping Sinatra. That way everything kind of blends a little more, a little more seamlessly than, um, you know, your typical songs today. Uh, being from Dominican Republic, you know, I was exposed to a lot of different uh, types of music and backgrounds, salsa, bachata, merengue. Um, but, you know, I'm not just a Latin DJ, obviously. I don't consider myself, I'm just a DJ, period. But I use my um, knowledge in, that kind of music to be able to cater to a bride or groom that 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 uh, caters that wants that because you know a lot of times people are hesitant because they well you know he's not really a Spanish DJ I don't know I don't know about this but yes we do have the ability to play that kind of music uh, to me music is music uh, whether it's a Sinatra song or a Bruno Mars song or you know a future song or Jay-Z um, or you know Ashanti or Ja Rule like different songs have different speeds but the structure is the same and I think what separates us is the knowledge of music and how music is structured to be able to mix in and out of these songs seamlessly and highlighting the, the uh, high energy points of those songs to make sure that we get the good stuff but not play the whole four or five minutes of the song and go on to the next song that we feel would be just as impactful if not better. Me being able to uh, working in Boston nightclubs, uh, you know, there's a, a bunch of VIPs that are always in town or sports stars, like, you know, you'll have Julian Edelman, um, you'll have David Ortiz, you know, a table next to you and say, you know, Edelman wants to hear, you know, the DJ Khaled all at one, 
all I want to do is win or all I do is win because you know obviously the Patriots are very good and we tend to win a lot so um, you know he wants to hear that song and he wants to brag and you know but then you got David Ortiz he wants to hear the newest like reggaeton song you know so you gotta cater to them and you gotta make sure that that song comes on next because you know that's kind of you know, it gives them a lasting experience. Like, hey, you know what? I went to this club in Boston and DJ Dolo was playing and he played my song and I loved it. And that's what kind of people remember and they'll keep coming back for more. So I've, I've had the opportunity to open up for a lot of different types of acts. Uh, recently, I was in New York City opening up for Hardwell. Uh, Hardwell is a very EDM, uh, electronic dance music DJ. While it may not be appropriate for, for a lot of weddings, um, you know, that is a genre that I'm familiar with. Um, I've opened for Run DMC. Um, God, so many. I've played a private party for Taylor Swift. Um, I don't know what else. I gotta like look at my. Uh, my, my, I gotta look at my, my press kit thing or whatever. Um, what else? What else? But yeah, I mean, going back to the club stuff, um, you know, you just never know who's gonna pop in. You know, there's all these NBA players that are looking to have a good time and you never know what's gonna happen and you know the, the key is to be prepared and I think that kind of translates to to a wedding um, you got to be prepared at any given time you know there might be a curveball that gets thrown at you um, you know there might be like a song that an aunt wanted to hear that didn't get covered during the during the meetings and the prep and you got to be ready to be able to grab that song and play it at the right time so um, I think that kind of translates in both uh, of my world the club and the wedding slash private event world it's tough to kind of single out one particular event um, in terms of like one signature moment, but what really does it for me is just seeing everyone on the dance floor laughing, happy, drinking, eating, on the dance floor having a good time. You know, like I said before, whether it's grandma or the flower girl, um, you know, the junior bridesmaid, the junior groomsman, they're all out there dancing. Um, that's what really, um, you know, makes a lasting impression on me and it makes me want to keep on doing this for as long as I can do it. I find it kind of crazy that we have to kind of put this uh, PSA out there or disclaimer, but uh, you know, j just looking at or hearing about other stories about from different DJs and different companies, um, you know, it's come to my knowledge and my attention that a lot of DJs use a lot of, um, they're on the microphone a lot and, and you know, make it really about them. And that's not the mantra that we have here at C-Zone. You know, we, we, our mantra is it's not, um, it's not our performance, it's not our show, it's all about you. And uh, we really feel that, that that translates to all of our DJs, myself included, all the way down uh, to all the guys that have been here before, like Sheldon's been here a long time, 10 years, to some of our newer guys. Um, so I think that really it, what separates us from other um, DJ companies is that we really don't try to um, really push us. Like for me, I'll do the bare minimum uh, announcements as possible, because I think the music will speak for itself. All right, so I'm really looking forward to bringing your vision to life. Um, this is your big day. This only happens a once in a lifetime opportunity and we wanna make sure that everything goes flawless just as you envision it in your head. I look forward to working with you and I hope to see you on the dance floor, wherever that may be.